These are the Bartles that are coming out of there. And you get a couple up here that I think are, you know, are, are of interest. All right, so we're going to have another um, Bartle digging adventure today. I am on the creek. <laughs> I want to fall in. We were here one other time this year, but just walking along the creek, you can see there's all kinds of, uh, a lot of junk that's come down and some Bartles, probably some Bartles out in the water too. But like I said, we're not going to get out there today. A lot of cans. And what we're going to do is get up in here and we're going to dig into that dark soil right in this area. Hey, look at that. It's a cork top. Probably broken, I guess, if it's down here, but... Yeah, so that's a uh, cork top bottle. It's a flask. That's like a whiskey bottle, and it's not broken. So I'll probably go ahead and keep that. You can see lots of other ones down here that I'm not, I'm not going to keep much in the way of the screw tops, probably. That looks like a cork top, is it? Uh, no, not. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so let's go ahead. Look, that's a 55-gallon drum right there. That'll be all rotted away, but there should be some Bartles up in here. We found some before. So give me a minute. I'm going to uh, get set up with the camera and make a place for us to uh, dig into the bank. And dig some more Bartles. It's a cutie. Uh, these are quahogs or hard shell clams. They're not oyster shells. They're quite different. I <laughs> love those too, though. All right, what do you say? Up the bank? Let me get set up. I'm climbing up the bank and it's really steep right here. So what we're gonna have to do, this is where I was digging the other day, is I'm gonna level out a spot so we can uh, set the camera up and kind of dig back into here a little bit and see what we can find today. I think there's gonna be some good bottles in here. I found a couple of nice milk bottles last time. Whew, all right, we can always go for a swim if we get too hot. Okay, so I've cleaned out a little area that we can start working in here and got rid of some of this overburden that I put back last time. Some friends, those are Canada geese. So let's take a look at what we have here. This is basically about where I left off last time we were here. And anything we dig up now will be uh, fresh bottles. That's just like a, some type of food bottle. I'm looking mostly for, I like to get nice, nice milk bottles. It has a label on it, but you can barely read it. That's probably some type of cold cream. Set that there. Uh, milk bottles with the dairies and stuff on it's pretty much what I hope to get today. Oh, what's that? I thought that was a that was kind of neat. I thought that was a uh, pocket watch at first, but it's some type of little container. Got something in it. Well, maybe we'll break that open after a while. Oh, that's a pretty little blue bottle. Emerson. You Bartle guys already know, but I'll be honest with you, I just haven't collected Bartles in so long, I've forgotten just about everything. All new stuff right here, so. I know the food bottle of some sort. This one actually has a lid on it, and it's got liquid in it. Let's see if it's got any writing on the bottom, see if we can figure it out. Uh, I think it says patented there, maybe, but numbers are kind of hard to read but that's a heinz bottle let's see what else we have that label no way to save it it looks like it says melting on there some type of melting cream or something <laughs> it's hard to say <laughs> let's see oh that's a cutie that's got to be some type of sauce bottle Oh, that's another one of these vinegar bottles. This is a vinegar bottle of some sort. I don't think it's White House. Last time I was here, I found one. I thought it was White House. I think it's like a competing brand. I'm pretty sure that's going to be vinegar. This is just really soft stuff falling down. I'm not too worried about it. That's another little bottle. Look at that. 15 on the bottom. That could be a, that could be a date, a manufacturing date. Short kind that is. And a little food container. That's part of a mason jar. Uh, we found some mason jar lids last time. That's just the top. There's no way to metal detect something like this because this is pretty much pure iron. Uh, so everything's going to have to be by sight in here. And a little bottle there. See any more? That looks like an interesting little can or something right here. No, it's a broken bottle. What's this? Uh, I don't know 
don't know. It looks like carbon almost. Is that a bottle? Yeah, it's the base to a bottle there. Oh, that's a little one. Look at that. Is that, um, I guess that must be a, like, fingernail polish, I guess. Yeah, see, so he's got a little brush in there. I'm assuming that's what it is, red fingernail polish. Uh -huh. Some more whole ones. Ooh, look at that one. <laughs> this is, yeah, this dump is definitely before my time, because these, I don't remember these styles, of, some of these styles of bottles, especially like that from my childhood, which would have been in the 60s. That's a battery. That's the uh, carbon core, and it's obviously copper right there, but that's the part of a battery right there. Hopefully we'll get some milk bottles out of here. Uh, that is going to be, I recognize that lid. Um, looks almost like a Listerine lid, doesn't it? Let's see if that's what this is. Clean it off a little bit. Uh, Pepsodent antiseptic so it's kind of the same type of thing pepsodent i don't think they make that anymore or not i don't lose that see any more whole ones in here i don't know what that is the older stuff should be on the bottom but i suspect this is probably that would have been a cork top now this dump was probably put here fairly quickly if i had to guess what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and work some more here and try to get down to that hard clay layer that i showed you when we were down by the creek that could be a you know could be a foot down foot deeper could be six inches deeper could be six feet deeper right here i'm not sure but uh let me work on a hole a little bit and i'll show you what we what we come up with all right so that's where we were just digging when i was talking about going down deeper to try to get to the bottom and uh, i decided what to do instead is i came out here closer to the front so I know that the hard layer is not too deep right here because we're right on the edge here. It's all getting washed down into the creek. And sure enough, if you look right here, this is the, uh, the natural layer. There's some tin on it, but there shouldn't be anything underneath here. So what we'll do is we're going to work our way just kind of up through here uh, at this depth, working our way back. Uh, we will be on the very oldest stuff that's going to be in here. These are the few things I found right here while I was digging it out. This would have been really cool had it been whole. Nice design on it, but I don't know. I guess it must have had some type of little stem for a base and it's broken. Some cork top bottles in here at this level. Not in much in a way of color or embossing or anything, but Yeah, so I don't know what that is. One of them had this little medicine bottle there. Some extract, I guess. Sawyer's extract, yeah, we found some of those last time. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and we'll just work our way through here. I really want to find some milk bottles. That would be the coolest thing I think we can find, probably. Unless we find a grand, M1 grand that they threw out. You never know. <laughs> There's a, I don't know if that's going to be a tin pot or a ceramic cup. I guess a broken ceramic cup. That's pretty much a hard layer right here, that heavy clay. The reason so many of the bottles are whole is because they have all these all these cans were thrown in here with the bottle so it kind of protected them as they were being pushed over the hill that's why i originally started digging in this little spot so i could see there are a lot of cans that's a lot of shell right in here uh, i'll tell you what i'm gonna have to move some of these bottles out of the way that i um, might keep some of those uh, that's an old melted one that was in a fire obviously either a dump fire or a fire where they uh, burn the trash at the house which was pretty common back in the day all right so just give me a minute and i'll clean this up and move those bottles and we'll start digging right into the bank all 
All right, so I got a little bit more of this area cleaned out and I found a toothbrush. I think it's pretty worn out. And there's some more bottles. I don't, oh yeah, I didn't show you all these. This is another one of those, I think it's called Suntex. It's like a Clorox. It might be like a, a different brand of Clorox or something. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I actually uh, looked online and um, I don't know if they're worth much, but it's, some people are trying to sell them for a lot. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep a few of those just in case. Anyway, let's go ahead and look in here. See what we have. That's not embossed. Uh, it doesn't seem to be quite as much in the way of the whole bottles in this darker layer right here. And we'll, and we'll be just broken stuff so far. And that's the natural layer right there. So well, let's work up through here. We should be looking for buttons and coins. Because people would throw out coins too. It would be in jacket pockets and stuff like that when they'd throw out the trash. Part of bed springs there. Yeah, looks like a uh, mustard jar to me. What do you guys think? It's got some writing on it. Let's see what it says. Patented. February 23, 15. So this is probably, you know, 1915, 1920. Uh, probably not too much. Yes, yeah, French. That's French is a uh, mustard. See French? That's ah, an old boot. That's probably a woman's shoe of some sort. Got a pretty tall heel on it. That's yeah, kind of weird. I should have looked at that a little closer. That's actually, it's a three-sided bottle. It would have had label on it, I suppose. Before my time, I guess. It's got some maker's marks on the bottom. I don't know if it has any dates or anything, though. It's a 13 on it, so that could be 1913, uh, possibly. Let's head over there. It's a big old... I have to wash my knees. I don't cut them on this stuff. There's a wash pan right here. Let's see if we can get it out. in this section. Bunch of wire. Get underneath of that one, just pull it down. Ooh, that one looks almost like it's not too bad a shape, really. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> All right, what do we have? So that's probably an old wash basin. This has got enameling on it, but of course most of it's gone. Oh, that's something. I wonder what that is. Looks like it's probably something that had something hot in there, maybe. Looks like a little baby stove or something. I don't know what that is. So I'm still working my way back in there. I just uh, dug a little soda or beer bottle. That's kind of neat I want to show you. And uh, we'll dig a little bit together, maybe. Not getting a whole lot of bottles. I haven't cleaned this up yet. All right, let's see what we got. The... Don't it? Tuco, Tuco Company? Never heard of it. It looks like T-U-K-O Company. Registered. Yeah, the neck's nice. It's got some bubbles and it's a little bit uh, misformed, of course, you know, twisted a little bit. So I don't know how old this is and I have no idea if that's beer or soda or soy sauce. <laughs> that's a nice one there, right there though. Most excellent. All right, let's see what we got here together. Really, just not finding a whole lot, um, except the cans. A lot of cans in the section. See what I mean? A broken bottle. I guess we'll have to work our way uh, up a little bit higher. All right, let's see what we got up in here. Uh, that's another one of those vinegar bottles. Uh, you can see it's broken, but it's also dished in. That's because it was melted. Ooh, what's that? It's a little lid of some sort. Now, this is just a little aluminum digger that I have. You can see the tines are really not very sharp, but um, we don't need a whole lot in here. I don't think we'll break any bottles with it. There's a whole one there, maybe. 
couple whole ones in there. Come here, Bubby. There we go. You can even see that, can you? Aye. Well, it's not a whole one, unfortunately. It's got water in it, but the top's broken, so I'm not going to see that for sure. There's another one beside it. That's probably a little olive jar or something. Got a really wide mouth on it, like a wide mouth frog. And uh, that's how they get the pieces of fruit or whatever out of the container. Eat it more easily. That's a big drum right there. It's probably a hot water tank or something. Let's see. I don't see any more in there. I guess we'll have to break some more of this down. All right, I'm going to put you away and try to dig around here a little bit. Maybe take some of this down. Um, and hopefully we'll start getting into some more stuff. There's a little cork top. Set it over here. See the layer of this dark stuff that they push over the top of all the uh, garbage when they put that in. You know, probably when they abandon it, they probably push that over the top. That's a nice bar. Maybe a bottle. Could be a milk bottle, is it? Uh, no, that's another one of those like vinegar bottles. Probably. Looks like it's whole, so we'll save that for sure. We'll squat one. There you go. All right. Broken bottles in here. That's a Listerine bottle. That's what I thought the other one was that we found Listerine. But anyway, so you can see that. This is a layer, like I said, it probably covered up the trash when they were done with it. This is a layer of trash through here. See a little bit lighter and a lot of uh, iron right in this area. And tons of iron down there. So it's like this, the bottle layer is mostly right along through here. So that's what we'll work on. Let me work on getting this tin out of the way. And uh, let me see more bottles up in there. We'll go that direction. Okay, so I managed to get that uh, piece of tin out of there. And I can see some bottles we're going to look at. But I wanted to show you this. This is the first Coke bottle I've seen up in here. Unfortunately, it's broken, so um, we're not going to keep it naturally. But let's go ahead and check out what I can see up in here. This one's sticking back in here, some type of bottle. Let's look at that. What is it? Oh no, it's broken. Would have been a pretty green one. No embossing on it at all. Would have had a label. The label's gone. here right at the top layer so this would be some of the newer type bottles there's a bottle in here oh Let's see what that says mistol <laughs> no idea what mistol is it would have had a label on it but it doesn't anymore um boy There's a battery. This is all cans and stuff that are all rusted together, rotted and rusted. Just weird that layer of cans it does not have much in the way of bottles. I see a couple of broken ones up in there, but let's see what these are. Ooh. That's broken. These are all broken. a light bulb base right here. A light bulb base. A lot of broken bottles. Not a light bulb base. Here's one. Light. Oh, that's kind of weird. I want that. It's a sweet part of a lantern, maybe? Right there. All right, what do we have here? Anything good? Nope, no embossing on it. So we're not going to save that. Just a little guy there. Silver bottle must have been paint or something. Not sure what was in there. It's another little flask. St. Joseph's assures <laughs> purity. <laughs> I thought it said puber puberty. Sure <laughs> puberty. I'm a moron sometimes. I can't remember what St. Joseph's is. <laughs> puberty. Oh my. That would have been a. I don't know what that was. I'm gonna go ahead and look at some of these broken ones. 
so that uh, I'll know in the future when we dig them what, what they are. Crass cola, maybe. I guess that's cola, I don't know. Crass something. All right. Let's see, is that what it is? I would say no. I thought that might be part of a lantern, but something like that. See all those little holes, that's where air would go in, into it. Like, uh, So it's definitely for an airflow. Uh, probably not like a muffler or anything. I'm not sure what that goes to. Maybe you guys will know. And if you do know what that is, let me know. That way, in the next time I dig one, I'll look like I'm smart. <laughs> not, not, not like normal. Ah, there's a bunch of... I can see bottles up in here, man. Stuff falling out. All right, on that one. A little cork top. Capudine? No idea what Capudine is. Probably some type of medicine, I guess. For my time. Broken. Oi. Come here. <laughs> <That's> pr <laughs> probably vanilla, but it's a little bit off, isn't it? Like somebody's been drinking when they made that bottle. Uh, I can't read that. Hold on. Yeah, so that's a, a McCormick, McCormick bottle. So it's probably like vanilla, some type of extract for cooking. This is kind of a different design. I'm not really familiar with it. Let's say it's got some writing on it. It says ounces, not dunces. <laughs> oh, it's dunces. Okay, yeah, it's got a little graduated scale. It says ounces there. That's probably something unfortunate. It's got a chip in it. I'm not even going to save that one. This is a... Oh, it's got writing on it. Let's take a look at this one. What's this? Clark and Company Buffalo. This is a kind of crude for the era of stuff that we're finding, so it might be a slightly older bottle. I don't know. Let me see this one. There you go. That's clear, but I like that. And of course, that's broken, so we're not going to worry about that one. Let's set that aside. Let's see what we have up in here. I like that. I really like to find some nice milk bottles. Um, the other day we were here, we actually did find some. That's a top to a milk bottle, so we might be getting closer. There we go. Um, that's a Clorox. You can see it clearly says Clorox on it. So that's bleach. And the other one we found was bleach too. Just pretty sure just a different kind. Uh, broken Coke bottle. Of course, you can turn these back in. Back in the day, you could, you know, you get a refund on those and you brought them in. So, not surprising. You don't find too many of those out here. All right, um, I'm gonna have to break this down a little bit. I got some nice lid. That isn't, but <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep going this way for now. That's ketchup, I'm sure. A little bottle there. God, look at the bottles up in here, though, man. Uh, no bottle. <laughs> All right, what we have here more like ketchup bottles that might be a mason jar that I don't know if it's whole or not but it's a mason jar uh, I'm not sure what that is whoops that is uh, another condiment bottle of some sort yeah ball mason but the top's broken we won't mess with that too much Oh, well, <laughs> we get to look for our bottles again. Um, I'm going to clean this up real quick and uh, get the bottles out of here that I want. And then we'll get you back out in a minute. Whew. All right, I needed a break anyway. All right, so I'm ready to go again. I didn't really have much of a break. It just kind of worked on this and getting it stabilized. Naturally, it's collapsing back toward my gear, but we should be okay right now. I thought we'd, what we'd do is get in here. This is a freshly cleared area. And uh, hopefully we'll start to get into some milk bottles full of gold coins. Let me see that. Let's see. I'm going to pull out some of these bottles. Oh, that's a nice little cork top. And that's going to be a uh, Listerine bottle. We'll set that over here. 
a bottle up here to pick you up from it. Is that that thing I wanted to save? <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I made another little spot on that side. Put some things up there. Uh, I don't think we've seen this bottle. It's broken though. Yeah, it's broken. Another broken Coke bottle, unfortunately. Uh, see any other whole ones up in here? Here's one maybe. Yeah, it's another, probably another ketchup bottle. I don't see any markings on the bottom of that one though. There's a little something there. That's a cork top, but it's broken. That would have been a bleach bottle too, or as well. Ooh, another cold bottle. Big gun. Look at this rust. <laughs> Maybe. There might be one there. Uh, a broken one. A lot of broken ones. Just little plain bottles so far. Oh, there's a little blue one. Let's look at that. I'll definitely save a little blue one. A little miniature. Another blue one, maybe. No, that's clear. I cannot believe there's only milk bottles. What the heck, man? Probably cold cream, I guess. We set to the side. That one's broken, unfortunately. That's probably like a Listerine bar, I guess. 100%. A little one, a little one here. Ooh, it's cute. That's a cutie. Look at all the bottles. Man, I wish these were about 20 years older. All right. glass up in here. Oh, well, look at that. I thought that was melted like in a fire, but it's obviously made that way. Some type of weird little thing. No spoons or anything like that. You know, silverware. That's strange. All right, um, boy, I tell you, I'm just not seeing any good ones. So I might work back. Well, of course, that's underneath all my gear. Think about working back that way because it seemed like there were a lot more in this area. But I suspect anywhere, anywhere we go, it's going to be about the same. You know what I mean? Yep. Okay. Shoot. I'm gonna work around here a little bit. Let me figure out what I'm gonna do next. But yeah. All right, let me just clean this up real quick and I'm gonna decide whether or not I wanna stay here. Maybe move to a slightly different area. Or maybe we'll just pack our bags and go home and get into something else this afternoon. I moved over to the other side of the hole and tried to dig over here and I'm getting into some more bottles and I actually got a nice milk bottle so I wanted to show you show you that and a few other ones I haven't dug those up yet but you can see there's some more down in there this is a this is what I've been finding on that side of the hole I've got this nice milk bottle here this is United Dairy League registered raw milk and if you look down inside there's something the sand in there isn't that weird that's I guess that's sand it's kind of strange. I haven't seen any other sand out here yet, but uh, let's see what else we have here. Got another St. Joseph's bottle. Sure is puberty. <laughs> well, this little doodad, I don't know what it is exactly. It's a case that would close. I don't know if there would have been a mirror in there and stuff like that or what. It's not thick enough for some, you know, glasses. A little uh, blue bottle, got a couple more of these. Another Capudine bottle. Nothing too great, but let's go ahead and take a look at what we have down here. I haven't looked at those yet. Let's see if we get more milk bottles. So I can see some stuff here. What's that? Oh, looky there. That's <laughs> I 
keep looking. I'm thinking. I keep looking at. It, I'm thinking it's like half of a milk bar leg is broken. I've actually never ever seen one like that. I kept thinking the bottom was broken off of it, but it's not. It's whole. Let's take a look at it. All right. So I've never seen a milk bar like that. I guess it's a milk bottle. Yeah, it's got to be with that lid. What's that say? F I or T I U? Looks like a bumblebee or a crab. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. I have no idea what this is. Um, it says registered F I T True, maybe T R U, True Jew, True Jew, whatever that is. But it's got the lid like a milk bottle. It looks, you know, identical, so. I don't know if that's some type of weird milk bottle or what. If you know, let me know. I'd never, ever, I've never, it says 31, B31, that could be a patent, you know, the 1931. This is fluid ounces, registered. I have no idea what that is. All right, let's see what else we have down in here. Another like little medicine bottle. That's got some writing. You know what that is, but I just can't remember. Manufactured by the Charles Hires Company. So this is probably root beer extract. If I had to guess. For home use, yeah, that's going to be root beer extract. Hires. Household extract. <laughs> it's going to be a root beer. I hope it says root beer somewhere on there. Philadelphia, USA. Um, yeah, some type of uh, extract. <laughs> All right. Ah, that's part of the milk bottle right there. All right, let's see if it's a whole one. That's a big rock right there, so it's hard to say. That's a little doo-doo bottle. Ooh, not a little doo-doo bottle. That side, that aside. Ah, it's like a big rock or something, piece of steel on top of it. So it's hard to say. Let me see if I can find my little rake. Try to dig out. Oh, look, yeah, it's another broken milk bottle. Might be in the milk bottle area. This might be good right here. I'm going to dig it underneath it so I can pull it downward and free it up. There we go. Come on, baby. Huh? Is it? Yeah, looky there. So it's another milk bottle. It's not a cream top. It's different than the other ones, though. You can see some um, those lines right there. That's something different than what we have. Looks like it had a label on it though, so it's not going to be embossed. Just a little bit of embossing on it. Eldridge. Eldridge Dairy. Okay, cool. That's a new one for us. Eldridge Dairy. Man, there's a lot of these in here. Another one. I'm not really not gonna save those anymore. Ooh, that would have been. What's that? The light bulb. Boy, stuff falling on my head. Some type of uh, light bulb. Bone. That's a chicken bone, probably. And more bottles. Have a nice big bottle back in there. That's a door lock. That goes off of uh, somebody's house. You can see the locking mechanism that would have been on a wooden door, the bedroom door or something. More of these. Um, another cork top. I'm gonna have to tell you what, I'm gonna have to turn you off a minute, baby, because I need to move this big rock out of the way and kind of stabilize us a little bit because we're gonna go right back into that direction. Because we've you know found a number of milk bottles in there, so that's a good place to dig. I have a little bit more dug out, and I set a few bottles aside. Nothing special. That little tube of some sort. And uh, but you can see some other other bottles in here. I haven't know. There's another one of those Clorox type bottles. I'll save that one. Wee, what's that? <laughs> uh -huh. Nothing too special there. Another Clorox bottle up in here. I don't know if you can see it. Try to get it out. That's broken. 
No, I didn't. I thought it was broken. But yeah, that's another one. I won't say that one. Scratch it out. Let's see if we can scratch. Probably not little Sawyers. I'm not even looking at them now, am I? No milk bottles. That could be one. No, no milk bottle there. That hard layer of rust on top of that. Man, a lot of bottles though. Look at that. That could be a milk bottle. Not that. That's a lid of some sort right here. Oh, that's a big square bottle of some sort. Kind of reminds me of an old case bottle, but it's not what it is. Oh, that's broken. All right, tell you what, I'm going to have to put you away. My battery's about dead, but I have another one, so I'll get you out in just a minute. So I've been working on the hole for a bit, for about 15, 20 minutes. These are some of the bottles that I've gotten out of this area so far. Nothing really special or anything. Um, this was kind of neat, this one here. It looks slightly older. And it says, Citrate of Magnesia. And, you know, a bunch of these little cork top bottles. But I thought I'd get you out now, since we're all down in here and we got a lot of bottles to look at. That is some type of shoe polish. Everett and Barron shoe polish, Providence, Rhode Island. That's pretty cool. We'll save that one. I'm not sure what that is. Patented. Some 945, so it could be 1945, I guess. Look at some of these. I don't see any more milk bottles yet, but that's a slightly older one. You see that neck is kind of squirrely looking. I'll take a closer look at that in a minute. Oh, no flashlight. Another uh, ketchup bottle. Another ketchup bottle. Let's see. Ketchup eating dudes. Ketchup bottle. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of those in here, huh? Oh, that's kind of a weird shaped one. Eh, not much writing on it, though. Ah, another one of those. Here is going to be absolutely filthy. Got to be a little careful. This is starting to crumble a little bit, but it's really soft, so it's not like it's going to hurt us or anything. No plate. Another bar layer. All right, I'm going to clean this out, put you back on charge, and I'll let you know how we do as we move along. Ah, probably won't be here too much longer. So bones are getting tired. All right, here's what we have. I, uh, I'm digging back in here and starting to get into some uh, decent bottles, but this whole thing is gonna collapse soon. Once it does, I'm gonna quit for the day and just kind of tighten it up, clean it up a little bit. Then we'll come back again another day because I don't wanna have to dig this thing out again. And I'm gonna have to once it collapses. These are the bottles that are coming out of there. You know, nothing too great, but I did get a couple up here that I think are, you know, are of interest. This looks like a pretty nice one. Ellie Hammond. Got some writing on there, uh, not to be sold. So that's a pretty cool one. And i uh, got a couple others up in here, similar. There's another milk bottle. And uh, some others. So I'm going to take out the ones I really like. And I'm going to keep it. I only have one bag with me, so I can't take them all. And we're going to dig in here until this thing collapses. Then I'm going to take all these bottles and kind of rebury them shallow. That way, when we come back, we can gather, you know, we can, we can take some more of them. Or if someone else gets in here before we do, They'll have a nice little surprise. I know it's gonna collapse on my head if I'm not careful. Man, there's a lot of them in here. Look at that. I don't have water too, which is weird. Kind of a strange one. Really kind of looking for milk bottle. Oh, that's different. Yeah, another nice little milk bottle there. Most excellent. Superior dairy. So yeah, there's a lot of milk bottles in this little section, so we definitely want to get back here. In fact, I hate to say it, but hell, it's got a label on it. I'm not gonna be able to save it. Um, I hate to say it, but I'm probably not even gonna show you these videos so I can get back here once or twice more. Uh, Cause we're into some good stuff now. I like those milk bottles. That would have been nice, except it's broken. Look at all the bottles. That's another one of those vinegar bottles. Yeah, this is gonna collapse. Ooh, soda bottle, we'll just set it aside. We'll look at that in a minute. See any more milks in there? Oh, grab that one. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> grab that little one there. Not much. Any milk bottles in there? There's another big uh, 
one of these. What I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just collapse this all down and just stabilize it so it's like a just a nice gradual slope here. You see tons of bottles right up in there too. No pokes. Yeah, that's about it for us guys, I think. This is going to collapse on us. I don't see any more milks. Let's, uh, let's give it a tickle. What do you say? Wait a second. Yeah, okay. I'm sure this was still out. Uh, any milk bottles? <laughs> That's a big piece of grass. I don't know what that was. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, that's going to be about it for us, guys. I think I'll just go ahead and collapse the, collapse the rest of it down and um, kind of just, you know, kind of hide it a little bit where we've been digging. We'll come back another day. I think the milk bottles are down under this layer right here. All right. I'm going to take about uh, half an hour, fix this all up. I'm going to take a quick peek at what we have and I'll carry as many as we can. Unfortunately, I only have this one bag, so I won't be able to get too much more than that. And then we're going to go down the creek and wash up. <laughs> what do you say? I think it's a good idea. Hey, so unfortunately, I'm not going to do a roundup uh, right now. I'm just going to finish uh, cleaning this up and get the bottles that I can carry. And we'll haul them back home and we'll take a look at them at home. She'll take the ring from your 